Hello guys, my name is Black Cobra King, and uh, I guess you can say this is my uh, definitely not the 100th video of 2016, because today it marks as 8:41, uh, 2017, January 1st. So you guys probably already know that I've completely failed my. Uh, quest to make in a hundred videos within 2016 and not gonna lie I saw this coming but at the same time I didn't see a lot of the reasons of me not making a video in between and why they occurred so I just want to uh, say a few things before uh, too many people wake up um, last video I said leech seed that my incineroar had. I want to, uh, fix my, uh, correction there. And it was leech life. And I didn't, I wasn't even thinking about leech seed because I was just really professional with having a shiny women's scot named Winchester with leech seed, so... I don't usually have a shiny that has leech life, especially with one that is as powerful as it is now in the Sun and Moon games. So that's, uh, that's fixed. And a huge reason why I haven't really made as many videos as I wanted to back in 2016, last year, or yesterday. Um, is because, like, of pretty much financial problems. Like, I've been traveling around places a lot. As you guys notice, I'm not in Guelph anymore. Well, you can't really tell this bare-ass wall behind me. Who knows? I could be anywhere in the world, and I could say I'm not in Guelph, but I could be somewhere in a secret bunker in Guelph. Who knows? But... To make it even more fair to prove to you guys that I ain't lying. This is my friend's curtain. It's a Pittsburgh Penguins. And you guys know. Actually, you, di you guys don't know. I don't like sports. I used to be in House League. But that was it. And. Uh, yeah. Does this. Do you guys look like a uh, Guelph at all? Anywhere? Oh. I didn't think so. So, uh, yeah, I'm in a completely different um, place, environment, and all that shenanigans all together. Being born in Milton, raised in Guelph, or no. Raised in Georgetown, Acton, lived in Acton, then moved to Rockwood, then to Guelph, and now here, there's been a lot of fucking um, places I went to in between all those ones I named off, but like I've been in Nova Scotia as well, and oh man. Life is just really fucking strange for a guy like me who just doesn't understand how to talk to people in person, but it's a lot more, it's a lot better talking to the millions of views who are watching on YouTube or whoever does see this video. And it's a lot easier talking to you guys than it is in. Uh, in someone else's face, unless I'm, I known that person for a while. That's how it is. That's how I was raised. Because, it's like, oh, uh, when your friends, like here, here's one thing I'd never really done as a kid. I never partied. And I can, I don't. Ha I'm not gonna lie. I did kind of choose not to party at the same time. But there was a lot of times where I really needed to leave the house that I used to live in in Rockwood. 
like every time it would be Christmas or Jan or like New Year's or some sort of um, festive time where you could be if you're friends when you're a teenager and whatever. I stayed home and pretty much did chores and shit. Kind of like how uh, my other buddy Nate right now is right at the moment fixing his mom's house and shit. And he wasn't able to chill at the party and shit. Even though the party was kind of shit anyways. <laughs> but that's uh, what I heard because I never went. It's just my nature. Because it's just how I was brought up, you know? Like, I was separated from people, so my mind's basically like, if you're a new person and you're not part of a circle and I just meet you and you do a really bad first impression, you're going to have to uh, make a lot of trust built from me because I'm not going to be um, crossing paths with you. I'll make a bridge over top of you or dig underneath you to avoid you. That's pretty much how my mindset works. But then there's another part of me that's like, I've always wanted to understand how a party works and how like all this other like he people interaction stuff works and like all the stuff I see on social media but I'm just like if I ever go to one of those parties I probably like snap and like hit someone with a pool cue or something or a stick or whatever and that's how it's gonna go like I don't drink because I uh I don't understand what I'm like when I'm uh, drunk like some people are afraid of me the next day when I'm sober after I've drank other people are like laughing at me like with me or something saying you're you're fucking badass this one night and I don't even fucking recall cuz because I drank a, a shit ton like there's one time I drank beer and I had a shot I don't know exactly of what and the next day I wake up to my um, my backpack filled with ice cream like it wasn't like ice cream was scooped and put into the backpack it was more like there was just two cartons of unopened ice cream in my backpack that I bought that night and then I wake up see that sh stuff in my backpack and then my my friend is just like, oh yeah man, you saw you saw my girlfriend apparently, and then you ran. I'm like, I saw your girlfriend and I ran. I I was just with you. You your girlfriend was never with us. Yeah man, you 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 were fucked man. Like you tripped a couple of times and you even tripped upwards on the hill when I saw you running. I'm like, oh no. Oh no. What a where did I get this ice cream? Oh you bought it. Oh thank gosh I didn't steal. So at least one good thing happened, I didn't steal the ice cream. Oh and I woke up with ice cream in my backpack too, that's another good thing. Unopened ice cream, but it was a little melted. It was one of those um Sunday um ice cream things like there's a dark chocolate one where it's regular chocolate with like chocolate syrup on it and then there's like this regular sundae where it's vanilla with the chocolate syrup and I had one of each carton in my backpack for no freaking reason when I woke up and the black converse um, that I wore are completely destroyed because I apparently could not untie my shoe so I decided to rip the strings right out of each and every single hole. And I don't know how anyone can do that. Like, I try doing it on my own when I am not sober or when I am sober and I'm trying to untie my shoe. I'm just like, no! And I can't do it. I just freaking can't. And, and then... I look at my Converse and they look like a freaking badger got into them and tear them apart and walked away really happy.
That's what my Converse looked like that night. Or the next morning when I woke up looking at everything. And, yeah, and that's why I don't drink. I don't drink because I don't know what happens. And I asked the people who were scared of me of what I did. And apparently I was really loud or something. And they didn't want to say any more. But I knew there was a lot more to it than just me being loud and shoving ice cream in my backpack. There must have been some stupid thing I'd done that people uh, hold against me and they're not telling me straight up. But, um, I don't know. I don't... I don't, uh try and be the way I am like in my videos I am kind of down and I don't try and bring it into my videos and it's really really nerve-wracking for someone like me to hold in my anger especially when a lot has happened through all of 2016 so there was a lot of ups like I got um, a lot of Masuda method shiny Pokemon I managed to leave Guelph finally that was a huge milestone leaving Guelph because Guelph was getting really bad with uh, drugs and prop and stuff like that and the lack of like humanity that's there like everyone there was just there for themselves it wasn't like nobody wanted to help one another or do anything fun they always want to sit inside and like do meth and stuff like that and meanwhile I'm like one of the very few people who wants to leave wanted to get out of there wanted to like escape that environment because it was really bad for my health and plus I was just getting really depressed every single second and plus I moved to the shelter there like I'm not gonna make a YouTube video for you guys while I'm inside a shelter where there's a lot of bad stuff going on and terrible terrible racism and other stuff like that and um and it's just it was just that it was just so bad like I just meet up with uh, with a buddy of my Marcus and he he wasn't there for that long apparently so he was like fuck it you don't deserve to be in Guelph definitely I don't deserve to be in Guelph he said and then we just fucking got out and that was it and now we're here and there was a lot of ups and downs between that time, the before time when I've not even met Marcus, and after when Marcus ended up being my only friend at one point, because, holy man, there was just a lot going on in people's lives. It seems like 2016 was like one of the most emotional and very stressful years for everyone. Like, not just myself, a lot of other YouTubers have been having problems. Apparently, like, YouTube was getting shut down at one point, which was going to scare everyone, because, like, like me, who used to watch other YouTubers as a, as a depressant, like, when people get depressed, they drink alcohol. For me, if I got depressed, I just go and watch YouTube. That was my depressant at the, for the longest time even before I even moved to Guelph. Like, when I basically started my YouTube career, that's my depression, was YouTube. So, uh, I'm not saying I'm depressed right now. I'm, I'm not at all. Like, I just, I just woke up. It's, it's 8.55. I've been talking for almost four, uh, 15 minutes. And, like, I don't know. 2016 like really wanted to get on people's backs this year it was wanting to show everyone the truth of life 
And I think that's what a lot of people um, have failed to see during that year. And I kind of did too. I wasn't myself through a lot of it. And I wish I could have fixed a lot of things I did in, uh, last year, but it's kind of impossible now. And all we can really do now is uh, strive for the future, you know? Like my like my one video, probably my uh, fourth video ever in 2016. And... The one when I was like, oh, I'll make a hundred videos. Yeah, just look back like uh, seven videos <laughs> out of the supposed 100 I was supposed to make. And you'll see the Strive for the Future video. Or, uh, I don't know. But this year was really fucked up. And I do apologize for a lot of the coarse language I've been using. Because that's how really stressful it's been. <laughs> For me, like, I've been swearing a lot, and I I tried stopping myself for the sake of YouTube, but it's just, you're with a new crowd, you're with a, um, a, a more country area, of course there's going to be more coarse language and shit, and because nobody cares, there's more privacy, there's, there's like a lot more to do in a country that we don't realize than there is in a city. Like, yeah, you can do a lot in the city, but that's only if you have money. What 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 can you do, really do in the, in the country, though, right? Well, if you have money, you came from the city, and then you go into the country, that's when you have the best fun, because nobody can fucking find you, you know? And that's when, that's when parties could have happened and all that kind of stuff, but, you know, a lot of that didn't happen. I was hoping that 2016 was going to be a hell of a lot different and it was but not in the sense of what I thought it would have been like I thought I would have finally managed to have um a tripod and a camera and then maybe in 2017 I would get my laptop finally but that n still never happened and that was like I've been planning to have a laptop since um I first moved in into Guelph since the one I got taken from me was obviously taken. And there was kind of a good reason-ish, but I don't want to talk about that. Um, yeah, so I pretty much have to say, like, I've pissed off a lot of people. And I, I certainly can tell when I piss people off because I have a really good sense of knowing when a person is angry, upset, happy. Um, I don't know any other magical emotional word for you guys. Um, I know exactly when all these, when everyone else is mad and stuff and when, when I get mad, it's over some minor thing that can easily be fixed but for some reason I just take it to heart and shit but what I'm trying to get at is just like I've been pissing a lot of people off and I just I really don't know how to fix it now like it's actually been bothering me for the longest time that last year was the biggest change ever. Like, this is... Like, last year was basically, like, the year when I was basically ditched by all of my friends from Acton. Well, I'm not saying all of them, like... I, actually, I'm not even going to say what I just said. Okay. Let me really repeat it. When... I moved from Acton, went to Homewood and Guelph. That's kind of like what this situation was like, except it was so different. And it wasn't like at all. Like, I don't talk to any of my family members anymore. That's one thing I'll have to say. And there's a good reason. I'm just not ready because we've been through a lot. And until I 
can see that they understand how I view things, then I will not um, return to them. Um, it's it's kind of complicated about what I'm talking about, but if if you uh, if you're kind of like in my situation where you don't talk to your bloodline of any, and you only talk to like strangers who become your friends and then they become family members after like street family and, or I don't know what you call country because there is you know what I mean if you're if you're one of those people who are basically on their own I I support you man or dude chick oh I don't know what I just did there um, yeah, I support you, because it's really, really, really frustrating to try and explain to others who say they feel your pain, and then you can just tell that they don't. No. Like, you, you cannot. You cannot tell anyone how you feel, except for yourself. It's, it's, that's what 2016 was telling us all 2016 was the year of our inner demons coming out where we had enough of what we normally do and we wanted change and that's what 2016 was 2016 was the year of change and those years are the worst years for a lot of people, including mine. Last year was probably one of the worst years I ever had in my life, but also one of the fucking best. It was just that, um, it was just that emotional. Like, like you could, like I could never, never explain any other year like I could about 2016 and what it's done for myself my friends and just just anyone in total like I've lost a lot of people in my life um, who died last year I lost my two dogs and a lot of really good shit happened and I feel like because the good shit happened all this bad stuff happened but that might be just in here you know, I always thought about that because it's not like a it's not like a coincidence that like I go for all this shit and it's just repetitive and like if one good thing uh, happens to me an hour later or a day later or a week later, month later, something tragic happens that I can't blame that all on me sometimes like. Like, um, like when I told you guys I couldn't find a, a shiny from October 4th till, um, November 21st or something, I don't know, around that time when I caught Blair, um, in between there, I had amazing things happen to me. In that time. But I never got a shiny. But as soon as I got a shiny. Which was Blair. A few of the things I was really happy about. That I was really happy about. When I didn't get the shiny. Was not being. Um, joyful and cheery and all that. Like. Um, a bunch of my friends get drunk and like fuck themselves up or something or some guy gets pissed off at me really fast and it it it, it didn't work out it and like too many people have just lied to me and I'm not going to lie I've lied to a few people too but not absurd lies and lies that can just really piss people off like I don't know. 
2016 is just one of those really, really stressful years that I've had ever in my life. And I'm not sure if I want to be happy or upset about it. Because a lot has happened that should have made me uh, doubt myself. But then there's a lot that makes me want to like continue on. And see what's in store for this year that's coming, you know? Must I wasn't I wasn't trying to make myself sound like I was gonna end my life or something there. I'm sorry. Um, I was I was basically trying to be like I don't know. Like I'm running out of things to say here. Like, like it's I'm not even it's not that I can't run out of words. It's just I don't know what to fucking say. Like, like. This thing, I was hoping I could get him in 2016, but I haven't. I haven't got him shiny yet, and I don't know. I uh, oh yeah, I have one one more thing to say. Just one more. I noticed. That when people um, say things that they don't, how am I supposed to word this? I notice a lot of people just uh, doubt, don't understand, or just are plainly disturbed by people who don't have jobs, don't have a relationship, don't have some sort of housing of their own, and are just so plain fucking weird, you know? Like, I've noticed a lot of people look down on me and a few others like that. And not so much with my other friends. Like, a few of my friends are, like, popular as fuck in this town. And then when me and a few others are work walking by ourselves a certain way, we get stared at fucking hardcore. And, like, I love the attention. Thank you very much for whoever is giving me those dirty eyes. But at least you're wasting my time to look at me, right? That's, that's, uh, that's one thing. And, like, I don't understand exactly why people assume that because I dress differently and I act differently and all this other stuff that I'm stupid or something, you know? Like, I'm, I'm like, mentally disabled or something. Like, I do have a, a few mental disability problems. I'm not going to lie. I am on ODSP. That's Ontario Disability Suspension Plan or something. I don't know what the SP part is. But, um, I'm on ODSP. I was in special education classes. I was called a SPED. And I hated that word. And I would beat the sh out of people who ever called me that at the time and and then like all that changed like in between the time when I was an actin to the time I came into Guelph I became a less violent person like I would pick fights forever I was basically like Odin Killing frost giants f for fucking ever. That was basically what I was doing in acting. Like in Robert Little, I would challenge every single person that I saw, and I kick them and punch them and beat the shit of them until there's none left. I was just too freaking vicious. I fought every single guy in my fucking school from like grade three to grade five. And then had a couple fights in grade 6 to grade 8. 
And my last official fight in a school was in grade 9. And that was so fucking long ago. I don't even know, like... Like, I think there's a video of it. Actually, I, I don't know. Um, but for some reason, I changed from being this violent person to just an angry motherfucker this year. And I don't understand the the what transaction I made to become like violent till peaceful to just angry like I'm I'm pretty much having like a mood swing based on the area I'm in and that's like one of the most weirdest fucking things I've done ever in my life and I'm not sure if anybody else have noticed I think it's just this year this year's just been very fucking stressful there's a lot of stupid crap that's going on like the that election with Trump are you kidding me how if he if he is gonna win that's only because he's a meme people want to have a president who is a meme all right people that's very much why that's that's all I can say he's just he's just a meme and people thought it'd be cool that the world could be run by a meme so thank you guys for allowing the worst um, possible reason to be president. A meme. Yeah, let's have a meme run this world. Yeah. I find memes are as funny as fucking toilet paper. I will wipe that shit on my ass and throw it in the fucking toilet. That's what I do. That That's how fucking stupid that is. Like... And then the fact that, like, I live in Canada, man. I live in Canada. Do you know how stressful that is? Do you know how much bullshit I go through every day trying to tell people that, like, like, there's so much fucking racism, like, everywhere on the internet. And I've been trying to tell people, I live in fucking Canada. Do you not understand? I'm not racist. I'm not saying because I'm Canadian, I'm not racist. I'm just saying, because I live in Canada, which is a multicultural fucking country, nine times out of ten, people who are in fucking Canada are not racist. So guess what, pal? When I'm saying I'm not fucking racist, I'm not motherfucking racist. So, like, and then there's, like, a couple people who come in, come into my buddy's place here, and they're fucking racist as fuck. And, and I try, I try to explain in their own, in their own, like, like, mindset, you know? Like, okay, how can I explain to him without sounding like a dick. All right. All right, dude, guess what? You don't like that race? Well, guess what? If I stabbed you and that guy who you're making fun of, you both will bleed red. So if you bleed red and you see his blood and it's red, are you gonna call yourself that and kill yourself? <laughs> you're not. So don't don't be racist, all right? Everyone bleeds red. Everyone has a skeleton. Whether or not you're you're a guy or a girl, you either have a dick or a vagina. It doesn't matter. So I don't care about color. Like, like I I could be freaking. Look, I look blue anyways. I I, I could be blue. I could be purple. I could be fucking pink. Who? Well, I am kind of pink. I'm a fucking white person. White people aren't white. They're fucking pink. We're salmon, man. Like, that's basically what we are. Like, what? Like, my... Okay. Does this look the... Okay, maybe on that on that screen. I'm looking at it different, differently here. I see pink, and I see a white sweater beside me, and I put my hand on that white sweater, 
and I can still see my hand. <laughs> and that's pretty fucking pink if you tell me. So, don't you dare, you fucking racist bastards who are white, pretty much, ever tell me that you're going to end off someone else's life because of a certain color that they are. Who gives a shit about color? Who gives? People wear clothes. <laughs> like, there might be the odd nudist that you can scream at because they're naked. That's fine. If they're naked, scream at them. That's, that, that's okay. Tell them to put clothes on. But if you're just screaming at them because they're black or Mexican or Asian or something else, and, 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 why? <laughs> why? Why you waste your time doing that? I don't understand. Like, 2016 was the worst for that. Like, as soon as, um, like, everyone started hearing that, like, Trump was gonna bring people who were in America back to their own countries, every fucking person, um, that was fucking white, was laying out their fucking inner background. And I was like, Jesus. 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 Why? Why can't we all be fucking peaceful here? Like, I know. I know. Life is a bitch. But so is your fucking complaining about a person and, their, and the color of their hide. Our hide... Is pink, sir. Sir? Yeah. You? Over there? You. Yeah, pinky. You're making fun of that black guy over there? Well, guess what? We're fucking pink. We're, we're like Barney's cousins. Okay? So fuck off. With calling him the N-word and all that other stuff. Oh, and you, buddy. You don't like Mexicans? Well, guess what? What are you eating? What are you eating? Oh, guess what? I bet you those materials right there come from motherfucking Mexico. So you're eating Mexican food right now. So don't you fucking dare, you salmon piece of shit. Don't you dare make fun of him for his color and for his nationality and anything. I dislike racism. I dislike it. I, I, I will not accept it. If I, like, I, I'm not, like, one of those people who, he'll come to violence and be like, oh, psh, don't be racist, you son of a bitch. I won't be like that. I, I'll give them a good fucking rant that will make sure that they don't fucking speak. Like, I don't like any of that stuff. I am friendly. I'm a friendly neighborhood. Like, if you came to my neighborhood, it's all friendly and shit. Like, I, I don't try to be mad, but if you piss me off, that's when the neighborhood becomes like Silent Hill. Like, Silent Hill, you walk into it and it's all cheerful and shit. As soon as you piss me off, and everything just goes all black and shit, and there's like blood everywhere. And everyone's like, where did all this come from? I'm like, that's from the people who pissed me off last time. And, and then they just run away. And that's when I lose friends. <laughs> but, no, like, I'm not racist, alright? Like, a, pe a lot of guys on Facebook assumed I was racist in one of the pages I was on. And that kind of got me really fucking pissed off because there's a buddy who, well, I don't even know anymore. Because, like, he comes into the house here telling me how he wants to kill Mexicans and I'm trying to explain to him why why they even exist and what their purpose is and I try to show him what our purpose was and what we fucking done and why we should have been the ones killed and, and nobody else like salmon people are stupid I, I dislike being like because of 
Like I'm a I'm meanthropic. That means I want to be a different species entirely from the species I am now because of all the things we've done. Like you you can't tell me as a gamer you've never wanted to try and become like some creature or something. Like I don't care if if you, if I could just like be the species by itself or just be like a guy who transforms into that species and then transform back or something or some other magical thing. I don't care about that. I don't want to be a plain ass human. Especially this colored human. I don't I don't this this ticks me off. That ticks me off. I I Why? <laughs> Why? Like like I can't believe I am related to people who's just done so so much bad in our history. Like that's what 2016 was to basically um throwing at our faces is, is that life can be a bitch. Like it was a bad time for everyone. It was a bad especially a bad time for me. I'm not sure about you guys and well, if you guys want, you guys could comment in the sec uh, down below to tell me how your 2016 was and all that. But I don't know what to what else to say. This is this has almost been like an hour long video, and it's probably going to be very long to upload. So I'm gonna stop here and. I just want to say because before I go though that 2016 may have been a real thorn in the asshole but there there's always there's always um there's always going to be that one day where you'll be able to sit on a couch and not on a thorn bush like you were on the previous um, years, you know. That's that's why I uh, think to myself, one day there's not gonna be a thorn on the side of my hip. There's gonna be at least a an armrest that is attached to a chair, and I'm sitting on that chair with a coffee in my hand, not giving a damn. That's pretty much what I'll be doing. Cause that, that that's all I can do for now. Until I uh, get a portable camera and a tripod and hopefully get this um, thing working of uh, my buddies. Try to upload videos because I have a GoPro. It just does not work on this um, computer. So I need to find a different camera entirely and use that one to make YouTube videos because I'm really upset that I can't make videos for you guys and I don't want to lose any of you I really don't like all of you mean to mean to me as much as coffee means to me I love coffee I drink that stuff I'm not saying I would drink you guys and I'm not saying I love you guys oh okay I don't know that that was harsh I do care I care about you guys Love is just a really strong word to say, in my opinion. Caring, that I can't say. But love, holy crap. You can love coffee. Everyone can love coffee. Coffee warms me up. It doesn't screw me over. Well, unless it gets cold. That's the only time. Anyways, thank you guys for um, watching this video. I hope you're... 2016 was not entirely emotionally dramatic like mine where there's a lot of ups and downs like roller coaster and if you do want to comment your 2016 do it in um, down below in the video click at that like button if you want to hear more videos like this and I'm probably going to need more input because I am 
getting really bad videos again. So if you guys have any suggestions on uh, things I should do to make my YouTube channel a lot better, do that. Because I've been on YouTube for over five years and I only got 78 subscribers. That's kind of lame on my end. I need to change that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, comment down in the section below, and I'll see you guys. Um, I'll see you guys in the future. Have a good day or night. Bye.